The teriyaki burgers here are good, huh? You wouldn't think that the mustard goes well with the teriyaki sauce, but what a combination. Yeah, these are the best. Mom was just offered a proposal of marriage. Hmm? Dad, the mustard? Ugh. Gosh. And so your mother, tell me. Uh, what did she have to say about it? I wonder what the problem could be. Huh? Uh, cute enough face. Nice tie. Stylish jacket. Individually, it all seems to work. Question is, how can you be so plain as a whole? Uh, the proposal? Don't worry, she didn't go for it, Dad. Oh, really? Phew. Hmm. But I'd watch out if I were you, Dad. Hmm? It's just that she's really been into some thesis, which she calls the classification of three-dimensional manifolds in accordance to differential equations. Ah, I see. Straighten your back. Hmm? That's better. Keep it up, all right? They say the back makes the man. You can't carry your burden on slouched shoulders. Right. Oh, I forgot. Hmm? Grandpa has asked you to stop by. Dad has? Probably women problems again. Oh well, gotta go. Is it my job to have to take care of all the men in my life? exactly do you want? Yeah, if you don't mind, I need you to do a little favor for me. A favor? Now, how about a little something cold to drink, you guys? Hmm? Oh, thank you. No problem. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> her name is Naomi. Met her in Rupangi. Had no place to go, so she's staying with me for now. Hmm. Well, now, how many does this make? Your mother and I divorced each other over 30 years ago, and since then, I have gotten on with living my life. There's nothing wrong with having a new girlfriend. So, what's this favor all about? Boy, it's hot this summer, isn't it? Today's a real scorcher. Reminds me of one summer in particular. Getting fired from the research lab and watching my business going bust. Your mother leaving me and taking you with her. And then, in the middle of summer, being forced to survive among the lowest of the low in the back streets of Yokohama. You sent us lots of letters. I always looked forward to them. Even now, I still remember the address. The things I witnessed living there, I tell you, it was a real study in human behavior. Seeing what people are capable of when they've lost all hope and pride. Blind, drunk, and crazy. Betraying one another for money. Girls hustling men every day. Shady characters becoming pimps and beating these poor defenseless women. Living like leeches off of them. I even knew of young boys who went so far as to kill for a piece of bread. Seeing a society like that reminded me of the animal kingdom. Not you. You're always so adorable, Tasuke. Oh, you think so? Flattery won't get you anywhere, Dad. What are you saying? You're under the mistaken assumption that he's just an ugly dog. But for your information, this canine possesses a rare and special gift. I know all about it. You mean the incredible sense of smell and sight that Tasuke has? Mm-hmm. According to science, a dog's sense of smell is supposed to be a million times stronger than a human's, but Tasuke's is two million. But his nose hasn't saved him from danger. Look at those scars. You know, a mangy, ugly dog gets picked on constantly. It's no different with people. Anyway, getting back to my request. Hmm? I need you to find a woman I met a week ago and then give her some money. Hmm, that's what I thought. 
She wore a really nice perfume. It was Bonheur Happiness. Yes, the light on the right side. Could you bring it up a little higher? Beautiful. <gasps> An absolutely brilliant wedding display, as always. Give them back. I want the floppy disks that you stole. And what are you talking about, exactly? Don't you give me that. I know for a fact that you're the one who took them. A bit exhausted from overwork, are you, Ms. Kita? <sighs> Go on, get out, you damn liar! <laughs> huh? Uh, you did say you were Kayo Kokida. Huh? Uh, yes. Could you break it off with my father? This money's for... Before you continue on with this, I should tell you that's the money that I gave to your father. Huh? I think you're misunderstanding something here. I know Tahe Hiraga is your father, but he's my father too. Huh? Well, who would have thought that? You're not really surprised. Come on, you know how he is. It's strange. I suppose it can't be helped if he doesn't have any memory of me. I mean, it was a long time ago. My childhood was spent living hand to mouth in the filthy slums. Just the two of us, my mother and myself. My mother ran a bar. She went from one man to another, trying to find someone who'd give her some comfort. But your father was different. He was, well, special. Wait, Mommy, I'm not sleepy yet. Not tonight, little one. Someone special is coming over. Who is it? Your father, darling. You can imagine, I just had to see the man who was my father. When I was six, I got curious. I just had to know where my father lived. When he left before dawn one night, I snuck out and followed him. After school, I stopped by to gaze up at the second floor window. Huh? On the second floor? Wait a minute. It might sound to you like I was spying on him, but that's not the case. I really did appreciate him. No, I, I didn't mean... So, how about the money? You wouldn't believe how much a person can make doing window displays. I've reached a transition phase in my career, and on top of that, I've had a lot of things going on in my personal life. It got me thinking, if something should happen to me, what would become of my assets? Ah, so you decided to look up my father and give him this money. I'm not trying to coerce him into treating me like a daughter after all these years, but... But... I'm sorry. I'm tired, that's all. Uh, well, I guess I should go now. Anyhow, I think it's best if I leave this money here. Sometimes you can be such a fool, Father. Father? 
father. 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 Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Who's Dad talking to anyway? Let me guess, trying to break up with yet another girl? Oh, is that you, Dad? Listen, I returned the money like you asked, but you didn't say... Huh? I should have known! She called here in tears, kept apologizing to me. What exactly happened over there? The insurance documents out in the open. Meticulously tidied room. Why didn't I notice it before? It's my specialty. You're all right now. Just lie down and rest for a while. A stimulant. Aren't you even going to ask me? I'm really tired of it. I'm sick and tired of the whole thing. Long ago, my mother gave me advice. She said all men were the same. They're always kind at first. Then eventually, they just end up using and hurting women. But I know your father was different. They were together for six years. Yeah. I followed him home at night. Just so I could see him through the window. I always looked up at father's back. It's what I remembered most about him. Just a moment. That's a good boy. Look at you. Sure is a cute dog you got there. I couldn't believe he said that dog was cute. searched for your father with the only clue being that one time you saw the man's face? Huh? It's true. The fleeting image of that man's face, I could never forget it. But then, it just happened one day. Without any warning, father was gone. The light in the window never came back on. And then my mother died. It was suicide. I was sent to an orphanage on the other side of the river. I received a scholarship and studied like crazy. I just didn't want to be like my mother, clinging on to men as a way of life. I made up my mind to learn a skill and live on my own merit. But stupid me. Before I knew it, I'd gone and fallen head over heels in love with a man who was an associate of mine. Immediately after I had all the paperwork drawn up and had made him my legal business partner, he stole my registered seal and computer disks containing my database, and then he took off on me. Stole your disks? Yes. I was betrayed by him. All the business plans and window displays that we came up with together were supposed to be joint property. I believed he was the perfect partner. But all he ever wanted was the database. As it turns out, he used me to get what he wanted. My mother. I'm no different than her. Do you have any idea where he might have hidden the discs? In his apartment, I think. It's hopeless. 
I borrowed the key from the manager and snuck in a number of times. But you couldn't find them? No, and what's more, he found out about it and said next time he would press charges. I think I'll have some of that brandy. <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, no. I can't hold my liquor very well. But how else could I possibly get enough courage to break in? What? Break in? <gasps> Come on, Tasuke, hurry! Sometimes I really don't know about this dog. So you're saying this guy won't be coming home tonight? Yes. I know he had a scheduled meeting in Osaka. This might be something useful. <clears throat> I don't know if this is gonna do it. Using a steel piece the same shape as a key, you gently push up the pin and let it rotate. May I borrow your handkerchief, please? Bonner, Miss Kida's scent. Go, Tasuke! He may not look like much, but his sense of smell is twice that of a normal dog. Wow, did you find them already? Um. Well, then again, maybe not. Hey! Quit goofing off! <laughs> it's not a laughing matter. Oh, but look, he's so cute. <laughs> Maybe we don't have the same father. To be honest with you, it's just that I really wanted a father figure so badly. To feel less alone, knowing that he might be somewhere close by. And so, I decided I had to pick out my father from the backs of many men I saw through the crack in the door. And when I did, it was your father. Through the eyes of a little girl, his back looked to be the best. That was my dream. It made me feel truly happy. Well, uh, thank you for everything. Will I see my brother again? I mean, you? Room 302. That was your number on the third floor, wasn't it, Dad? Huh? Mm-hmm. She said she always looked up at the window on the second floor. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I see. I'll bet you never even knew her mother, did you? As a matter of fact, I knew the man living on the second floor. He was a very dangerous pimp. He was known for beating a lot of women. He had forced them into prostitution and always took a big cut. 
to one of them decided she'd had enough and stabbed him repeatedly with a knife. They found his body in the sewer in front of the apartment. I told you before, didn't I? I learned a great many things about humanity while I was living in the slums. I guess you could call it the back streets of my life. offers up dazzling sights, but Keaton is on assignment. It's a wild guessing game of who's chasing whom as the investigator sniffs out a missing Japanese student in Italy. Who can be trusted and who's in it for themselves? Keaton's found someone who's better at combat. This time he's been painted into a corner. Next time, devil like an angel. <laughs>